Recently, I was talking with Patricia Evangelista, a Filipino journalist who is about to publish an astonishing book called Some People Just Need To. Evangelista, an intrepid reporter in his late 30s, covered the regime of state mayor Rodrigo Duterte, who won the presidency and vowed to execute drug users or anyone he deemed a threat to public order. Without trial or even arrest Evangelista is not an expert. He was a police reporter working for Rapala, an independent website co-founded by Maria Ressa, one of the winners of the 2021 Nobel Peace Prize. Evangelista takes to the streets and alleys of Manila every night, searching for debris from Duterte's state-sanctioned violence. Bodies riddled with bullets cooling in pits. Bored cops muttering uselessly into their radios. She wrote down names and histories in a way that honored the dead and their families. Taking care to get the details right. In his reporting and lengthy investigations. Evangelista was essentially chronicling the achievements of an elected tyrant who was fulfilling. His campaign promises. His was an honesty written in blood. A Duterte era vigilante gave Evangelista his title I'm not really a bad guy. He said, according to human rights organizations, Duterte's unlawful attacks have killed more than 10,000 people. Over time, Donald Trump has been no less honest about his intentions than Rodrigo Duterte. In recent weeks, Trump has made clear that his plans for a second term are no less incredible. No less vindictive or deranged than Duterte's. We must listen. These are campaign promises. Trump has hid in plain sight for years. Making no effort to hide bigotry. His lawlessness. Authoritarian lust for power. Full on the contrary. He advertises it. And most disturbingly. This deepens its appeal. Moreover. There is no doubt that Trump has so normalized calls for violence as a tool of politics that it has incited countless people to perverted acts. Until Trump advised, lock him up. He always enjoyed the way he aroused a crowd with implicit or explicit calls for revenge. He was the inspiration for Charlottesville. As he grinned at a protester at one of his rallies, saying, I'd like to punch him in the face. The January 6th uprising began with his message to his supporters. Be there. It's going to get wild. It was a direct response to his call. Are you going to shoot them in the legs or something? Personnel and facilities. Now Trump has intensified his rhetoric. There's nothing he won't say. Claiming that former Chief of General Staff Mark Milley was found guilty of treason. Erdogan suggested that the best sanction would be execution. In a recent speech in Anaheim, California, Trump explained how he would approach the problem of shoplifting if re-elected it's very simple if. Rob a store. You can fully expect to be shot as walk out of that store. This is consistent with Trump's general view of law enforcement he raised the possibility of immigrants trying to crossing.